how to use AI to make the best coffee. That's our goal. Today we're gonna ask an AI, how do I make coffee? So first I'm gonna prop this table up for our workspace. And here's our AI friend, it's ChatGPT4. And we're just gonna talk to it directly on the phone. Now we're gonna switch to a different type of shot. Let's go ahead and figure out how to take my Comandante grinder and dial it in so that I can use it to get a good coffee grind for a light roast pour over coffee. Dialing in your Comandante for a light roast pour over is all about finding that sweet spot where the flavors you like are most pronounced. A good starting point would be to set the grinder to about 20 to 24 clicks from the zero point. This should give you a medium grind suitable for pour over. We are now going to ask how much coffee we should add. For 500 milliliters of water, you'd want about 31.25 grams of coffee. When it goes free like that, you know it's been ground. So I'll leave that there. I'm gonna start the water to boil because I already know that step of making coffee. You need some hot water for hot coffee. How do I use my Hario V60 to make 500 milliliters of coffee? I've ground the beans now. I have the hot water. I have some filters. What do I do next? Great, you're all set to go. Here's a quick guide to brewing with your Hario V60. One. Place your V60 over your carafe or mug and insert a filter into the V60. Two, rinse the filter with hot water to remove any paper taste and to preheat your V60 and carafe. Okay, I pre-wet the filter and now there's water at the bottom of my carafe. Go ahead and discard the water that you use to rinse the filter. This ensures it won't dilute your coffee and that your carafe is preheated. After that, Add your ground coffee to the filter, and you're ready to start brewing. I put my coffee grounds in the filter now. What's next? Start your timer and pour enough hot water to saturate the grounds evenly for the bloom. This should be about double the weight of the coffee. So for 31 grams of coffee, use around 60 to 70 milliliters of water. Two, wait for about 30 seconds to let the coffee bloom, releasing the gases. Three. After the bloom, continue pouring the rest of the water in a slow, steady spiral motion, pausing when needed to avoid overflow until you reach 500 milliliters. Let the water drain through the grounds completely, aiming for a total brew time of about 2.5 to 3 minutes. What's this part of the process called when I'm just watching the drips come down and waiting to be able to be poured? This part of the process is often referred to as the drawdown. It's when the water is passing through the coffee grounds and the filter, extracting the flavors and aromas before dripping into your carafe. Our coffee is done. I took this little handle off because I wanted to uh, show the, the drawdown, but I'm gonna put it back on because this, this is hot. Glass, glass can retain quite a bit of heat. Let's try our coffee. In fact, let's do this. We'll get the nice pretty shot. Love that sound. If the best is had, I'll leave it this way. But if this is coffee that maybe someone would not want to drink, maybe it should go to maybe the number one big brother, I'm gonna turn the mug around. That'll avoid me having to make a declarative statement about its quality with words. This is great. This is good. It's, I would say, at minimum equal to how I've been brewing. And it involved a fair number of slightly different steps than I've been taking. Thank you, technology.
This is great. I love it. Well, uh, that was all I had to teach and all we had to demonstrate today. How to make, how to use AI to, to make coffee.